I'm inspired by the power of play, the science of games, and the fact that our digital and physical experiences are merging in a big way. Our learning spaces, contexts, and experiences are becoming more hybrid. And one, and one thing that we need to do is to find a narrative that will be able to encapsulate all these experiences and inject a bit of fun in it so that you will enjoy what we do and what we're trying to achieve. When we were growing up, um, well, mostly in my case, possibly about 150 years ago, we spent a lot of time outdoor. We learned a lot of different things, interact with our physical surroundings, interact with, with, with our peers, and we learned, make mistakes, and, you know, we play and learn at the same time. And the word ludus, which is a Latin word, does not differentiate learning from playing. So we should exploit this particular field and see how we can actually do it and use it in our own life. And I think we should celebrate failures. This is where we learned about all sorts of different techniques, all sorts of different solutions, all sorts of different ways of doing things. One way is not enough. There are a million ways out there that we can actually solve a problem. So how can we actually learn from the technique and the culture of play uh, in helping us to understand that we can actually solve problems in a creative way? People can spend hours and hours and hours playing games in the bedroom, trying to solve problems, solve puzzles, missions and quests in order to level up in their skills and trying to compete with their peers. But there's one issue. Um, there's a huge gap in terms of how do they translate their particular skills into the real world. And there are a lot of research which have been done saying that the confidence that you display and you demonstrate within a game scenario, they do not translate in the real world. Most of them will become recluse, and some of them will not actually interact with learning in the same way they're interacting with gameplay, which is quite a shame. So I believe, as a game scientist, I believe that gamification can actually provide a solution for this. Gamification is using game techniques and design in non-game contexts, learning from the power of play, the power of games, and how we can actually look at our own life and see how we can actually change the way we do things in a creative way. And in terms of the business of gamification, it is expected that in 2019, um, it's going to increase by 48%. And there are a lot of different companies out there which are using gamification in different ways, but I'm interested in how we can actually use gamification to change the way we do things, the change we improve ourselves, the change we improve our learning. And it ranges from the use of gamification in social networks, social platforms, to um, fitness um, apps, as well as citizen science, where you can actually get people to work together and solve real problems within a gamified um, ecosystem. And life is a game. Game mechanics is becoming more, more pervasive, meaning that every single thing that we do would resemble game, and it's, it's, it's going to get even supersized by all sorts of different types of technology that we, that we can connect to and different types of techniques within the psychological field that we can actually tap into that will inform us on how we can actually understand ourselves, understand what we are interested in, and where do we want to go in life, and how do we create this gamified sort of journey. So my question is, what if education is like an adventure game where you would fight monsters and demons not to say that your lecturers and tutors are monsters and demons, but, you know, sometimes get... Uh, but what I'm trying to say is we can create our own journey that we would understand that in order for me to get from, what, from point A to point B, what are the missions and quests that I need to 
um, look into and, and, and trying to achieve um, so that it will be able to create this narrative around our own learning. And it will be like a hero's journey. We are the hero in our own learning. Can we create a narrative around it so that we will know what missions and quests to solve? And I'm not sure if you have heard of Joseph Campbell before. Um, his book on the hero's journey has inspired Star Wars. And why, why can't we use the same sort of concept in making our life, making our learning more interesting by looking at ourselves as a hero who um, we're within a game environment, which is our own gamified environment, we can imagine that we can actually solve all sorts of different problems, challenges, and that will inspire us to learn new skills and, 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 and do all sorts of different things in a creative way. And what if it is a non-linear experience, which is more interesting? Education can be a bit linear. So I believe that we need to understand that even though education is a bit linear, we need to understand that we have the choice in making it non-linear. We can learn about different things outside of our own education and see whether we can, we can learn different, different skills and, and, and interact with your surroundings and interact with different people within your surrounding area and try and learn all sorts of different things that would enrich your learning experience. Gamification is about experience design. We are designing our experience to connect people with the context of their activities because it is very important that whatever that we learn within um, the university, we need to understand what is the context of our learning. How can we relate one module to another? How would this course be relevant in the outside world? And we are moving from this model of teaching and learning into something which is more hybrid. We will explore different things in a digital world and connect it with what we experience in the outside world, in the physical world as well, which is very, very, very important. And I believe that we need to connect what we learn within a digital space and we need to connect it, how can we apply it in the physical world? Because, to be honest, everyone is actually obsessed with the vir virtualization and di digitization of learning. And they forget that you would need to have a connection between what you learn in the digital world as well as what you learn in the physical world. So I believe that gamification can provide this narrative because it's not about creating a digital game. It's about learning about how games or gameplay would work in terms of missions and quests, different feedback cycle, how do we inform ourselves of our own progress in life, and how can we actually interact with our peers so that we were able to inform each other in this particular journey that we call education. And the fact that Internet of Things is supersizing the experience that we have. We are so connected that sometimes we would fear that we are a bit drowned by so many different types of information that we can actually access different types of technology, different types of apps, different types of devices that we can, we can have access to. But the experience is not seamless. You interact with one object, and then you would interact with another thing, and then you would try different things within a classroom setting. Where, where is the connection between all this? How can we create a narrative that will allow us to interact with the right information and to and to interact with the right platforms and devices. And I believe that gamification can help. And what I'm trying to do in this area is trying to see how can we use gamified approaches within a hybrid space. What we need to do is to connect our formal education with informal education and non-formal, as well as our social interaction with learning. How can we extend the experience from a classroom setting into the outdoor, the outdoor into our personal space, like when we are at home. So what I'm trying to do here is trying to create a pervasive and gamified scenario. And I must say that the, the EU Commission has an invested interest in this, and we, have, we managed to win about 6 million euros to actually work on this with 15 partners across Europe. This is how important 
education and gamified education and pervasive way of doing learning and teaching and learning is. So we need to actually spend a lot of time in trying to understand how it works. And would you only want to be a player within the system, the gamified system, or would you want to know how the system works? I believe we need to be a game changer in this particular area. We need to understand how does game design, gaming, gameplay works. What do we mean by game mechanics? What do we mean by game dynamics that would be able to help you to define and to design your own experience, but through missions and quests, you will be able to level up in our skills. This is a creative way to solve problems where we discretize it into smaller chunks so that we will be able to level up in our skills, similar to how we actually um, are playing games. And we are doing this as well. We are trying to help students to understand what do we mean by game design thinking? What do we mean by looking at a problem and trying to find solutions outside of the box? And how can we use gamification to make it more fun? So we are actually working on this, and we hope that everyone will be aware of that. Uh, the fact that gamification is not only used in education, it is also used in the commercial world, which will be quite interesting. Gamification experience design can be used to manipulate behavior and attitudes. Falling into the right hands, we can create a positive environment where all of us can actually learn together as peers in a non-linear adventure, a non-linear hero's journey. But falling into the wrong hands, it can be negative and gamified manipulation. People can manipulate your behavior so that they will gain commercial profit from the way you behave in terms of consuming certain products. People might manipulate your behavior so that you would prefer a certain type of activities or uh, different types of uh, belief. So what we need to do is to really understand that gamification is becoming a norm in our daily life. Like it or not, we are in the system. So we need to understand that we have the opportunity to understand how this thing works and be co-designers in the experience. Within education, I'm looking at it in a positive way, where we can be designers of our own learning experience. By having your peers working with you, designing your education from point A to point B with all sorts of different non-linear narratives around it. Deconstructing your education into smaller chunks, reconstruct it into an interesting narrative that will make sense, not only to yourselves, but also to what is happening in the market out there in terms of employability, in terms of our own enjoyment in learning. So I believe that we need to understand how gaming works. It's not all about digital gaming. It's about the concept of games, the concept of play, and the concept of gameplay. So this is what we need to understand and what we need to look out for. And I believe that we can do it as a group, um, trying to explore this area. So what I can say is, in order for you to play the game well, you need to know it well as well. Thank you.